Hey guys, Lightane here. Last time on DuckTales, we took down the Beagle Boys and got our money bank safely back in our hands. And with that, we found a treasure map with five unique treasures on it. So, pff, you know, I'm Uncle Scrooge right now, so I love money. So let's go get some of these treasures. The first level that I will be doing is the Himalayas for a very important reason. Pack my parka, Duckworth. We're headed for the Himalayas to hunt for the lost crown of Genghis Khan. Shall I forward your call, sir? Gee, can I come, Uncle Scrooge? I want to see the pretty Himalayan marmots. Oh, not this time, Whippy darling. I need you here looking after the boys. Otherwise, who knows what kind of trouble they might get into. Oh, that's very smart. Uncle, Uncle Scrooge! Scrooge! Indulge me, lads. The last thing this expedition needs is a wee lass about. Oh, I'm gonna have enough trouble looking after the launch pad. Launch pad. I told you to land in the center of the mountain range, not in the center of a mountain. Gee, Mr. McDee, I thought that crash was rock solid. The only rocks around here are the ones inside your head. Ugh, we're nowhere near Shadow Pass and the Lost Crown. Now fix this wreck so we can get airborne and step on it, lad. I'm paying you by the hour, and I'll nay have you billing me for overtime. No problem, boss. As long as I have this fuel regulator, we're as good as... Whoopsie-daisy. Oops. <laughs> uh, my mom always said I was a Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, no. Please tell me you've got another one of those. Sure I do. <laughs> but it's back in Duckburg. Launch pad! Don't worry, Mr. McDee. I'll climb down and get it. You'll do no such thing. I'll get it. You stay here and try not to cause any more damage. Okay, you're the boss. Alright, so the Himalayas. So now we're after the fuel regulator. So most of these levels will have us trying to find some kind of MacGuffin um, in order to get out. So as you can see, we can come back into this uh, little area to see um, launch pad working on the plane. It doesn't mean anything, we can't do anything here. Not until we get the fuel regulator anyway. So I thought it was just a nice little thing, nice little addition. So uh, in this level, we got some new enemies. We got the evil bunny rabbits. Look how cute and evil they are. Also in this thing, we have goats. The goats are pretty annoying with their jumping patterns and relentless. Uh, relentless attack. They're a little hard to avoid and sometimes a little hard to hit as well. And because this is a, a remastered version of like an NES game, the enemies constantly come at you, bro. They are always, always on your butt trying to hit you. Oh, whoops. Missed that jump. <laughs> Uh, one thing that I think is really, really cool about this level, which I'll show you guys in a second, is that uh, when you pogo, whee, uh, when you pogo normally, you bounce off uh, objects, but because we're in the snow, if we pogo into the snow, we freeze. We get stuck. But it's like, oh, it's, that's a really cool little addition. I don't know why there's such an empty space with such crappy treasure. Um, but uh, here is our fuel regulator. <laughs> Jackpot! Here now, don't touch that. I need it to fix my plane. Stop! Oh, it's too late. Those bunny bandits have torn it apart. I've got to find those pieces fast. Dodge those bunny rabbits, Raven. <laughs> How the fuel regulator got here? which is on, like, you saw I had to walk all the way to the right and then go down for it to, to end up here when Launchpad dropped it straight down from where he was. I don't get it. But the very important reason why I had to go into this level is because if you drop down into the cave and you turn right 
as a little secret. Boom! An extra heart piece for us. Now we have four hearts instead of three, which makes it so much better because now I've got one extra hit before I die. So um, what we're going to try and do is we have to go to the top. I'm going to be doing these levels in sort of the most efficient way possible. Um, because I'm playing on extreme difficulty, um, and I'll get more into what extreme difficulty actually means, uh, I guess now. Um, so, in extreme difficulty, uh, you play it like the NES version of the game, pretty much. Um, where, easy mode, you have unlimited lives, unlimited continues. Um, so every time you die, you just start back close by. Morning and glory! <laughs> now to find the other two pieces. And each level has a heart container, so you can have like a maximum of like eight hearts or something like that. It's crazy. Also, there's a thing called Mrs. Beakley. She's a character in um, this universe that gives you health, and she'll be up there if you are playing on easy mode. On normal mode, uh, you do have lives, but uh, unlimited continues. And then if you play on hard mode, you have lives again, but slightly different, where if you lose all your lives, you have to play through the entire level again from scratch. So let's go down here. Uh, then on extreme mode, you have lives and no continues, just like how the uh, NES game was. So if you lose all your lives, tough luck. So the reason why I wanted to go down there is to kill this bunny rabbit, because guess what this bunny rabbit's got? It's the second piece of the fuel regulator. One more piece to find and we can get out of this overgrown icebox. Yeah, so uh, so because this is a an NES difficult game, uh, the bad guys respawn. The traps, a lot of the traps respawn as well after you you set them off. That's me, kilts. It's Bubba Duck. Looks like that poor little pea brain got caught in a deep freeze. And uh, the like. But uh, I'm gonna stop talking about that for a second so we can rescue Bubba Duck. Oh, what happened? Scooge? Ooga Ooga! Scooge saved Bubba! There, there, little fella. Uncle Scrooge is here to help. Scooge saved Bubba! Scooge oh, saved Bubba! Oh, 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 Scooge oh, saved Bubba! Oh, oh, oh. Bubba help Scooge! Bubba help Scooge forever! You know, I could use a bit of help smashing away this giant icebox. What do you say, Bubba? Ooga, ooga! In that case, follow me, lad! So, um, we can only break ice blocks by pogoing on them, so what happens when we get to something like that? Well, we can't do anything, but Bubba being a nice strong caveman that he is, he could destroy those blocks for us. Um, this is an instance for uh, that we get a companion in this game. It doesn't happen all too often, but it does happen every now and then. Yeah, I got that there. <laughs> so Bubba's our first companion. Um, basically, he just helps us out for a very little bit of time, and then he leaves. I do like that they that he helps kill enemies as well, which is pretty cool. Like, look at that. You just squish that bunny rabbit. You don't really control him, you just sort of stand near the ice blocks and he'll hit him for you. Yeah. Got both treasures. Um, and then, as soon as you get him, it's over. This is the end of the line, Bubba. It's time for you to head to the surface. Bubba home with Scrooge? Aye. Launch pad is waiting to take you home to Duckburg. On your way now. So Bubba helped us out, and now he's gone. Um, so Bubba is a caveman duck uh, that Uncle Scrooge found uh, and thawed out, and he became part of the, you know, the posse, part of the group of uh, the Ducktalians. Here's the last piece of the thing, by the way. Oh, look at the ducks! The last one! Now to get this fuel regulator back to launch pad. 
So yeah, so Uncle Scrooge uh, goes out and he goes out of his way to help out a lot of people, even though he's the stingiest guy ever, uh, which is pretty funny. I think that's a cool uh, direction for his character. So um, we could go back across, but that would just lead back to the rope that uh, we took down. But we don't need to go that way. We want to go up. Because we're trying to get back to the launch pad. And get rid of these evil bunnies. Um, yeah, so, uh, the, so on Extreme Difficulty, um, there's an achievement for Extreme Difficulty, which is the reason why I'm doing it. Uh, it's the last achievement that I need to get in this game. <laughs> uh, trophy, sorry, because it's PlayStation, whatever. Um, same, same shiz. But, uh, yeah, so, on Extreme Difficulty, uh, this is not the first time I've played through this. I played through this, uh, game just by myself, um, I wasn't planning on recording it, and I got all the way up to the very last level, the very last section of this game, and I died. Yep. I got game over in the last two seconds of this game. So that's why I decided to do it again and record it, so I have proof that I'm good at this. Here you go, Launchpad. Good as new. Now get this bucket of bolts back in the sky. Just a tick, Mr. McD. Uh, this uh, ought to do it. Now there's your problem. Webbergill, what in the world are you doing here? I wanted to see the pretty crown, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, great. Now I've got to babysit you and Launchpad. But I can help Uncle Scrooge. You're not like the boys, are you? You don't think I'm just a worthless tag-along, do you? We're ready for liftoff, Mr. McD. Ah, not a moment too soon. Strap in tight, Webby dear. Off we go. Nothing but blue skies ahead. Clear as a bell. Not a cloud in sight. Launchpad, knock off that infernal chatter. Gee whiz, I was only trying to lighten the mood. If anything, we need to lighten the plane. Feels like she's lost maneuverability with all the, uh, unexpected cargo we seem to have picked up. No worries, Mr. McD. I've got the coordinates for Shadow Pass locked in. We'll be there lickety-split. More like lickety-splat. Glomgold. Nice to see you, McDuck. Especially since you've led me right to the treasure. To whom do I owe my thanks? Your idiotic pilot. Or did you play it safe and let those two wee ones fly the plane? You dusty cheat. Only you could sink so low. And at 15,000 feet, no less. Complain all you like. The lost crown of Genghis Khan will look right at home on my feathered noggin. Wouldn't you say, Scroogey? <laughs> That's what you think. You'll never beat us to Shadow Pass. So, the crown is in Shadow Pass, eh? Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Launch pad. So, um, Blom Gold is uh, a little mini boss fight. So basically, he just shoots uh, Beagle Boys and bombs at us. When a Beagle Boy comes, we just bop him on the head. Nice and simple. Um, just look at the shadows on the ground, and then you'll see when they're going to fall. And when he shoots a bomb at us, we hit it back at him. We do that like four or five times, and he's dead. It's a very easy uh, mini boss. Most of the mini bosses in this game are pretty easy. Uh, but as you can see, there's just like like I said, uh, there's so many cutscenes. We just had a cutscene uh, with Bubba Duck to find him, and then like played for another minute, then Bubba Duck left, so then another cutscene, and then like 30 seconds later we got the next thing, which uh, caused another cutscene, and then another cutscene, and then another cutscene, and guess what, after this, another cutscene. You haven't seen the last of me, Matt Duck! Take that, you big old meanie! We sure showed him that cheaters never cheat, and winners never Try it the other way around, and I couldn't agree more, Webby. Pickle me, pin feathers. There it is. 
shadow passed directly ahead. Take us down, Launchpad. Slow and steady this time. No problem, old Mr. McDee. We're close to that treasure now. I can almost smell it. Wasn't me. <laughs> then what was it? That definitely wasn't me. Whatever it is, it won't last long if it tries to get between me and the lost crown. Uncle Scrooge, don't go. Don't no worry, lassie. Whatever is in that cave is no match for your Uncle Scrooge. I earn my fortune by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toughies. If anything's in there, it had better step aside. But I'm scared. Stay with Launchpad. He'll take good care of you. Stay with Launchpad? Gee, now I'm extra scared. So I'm not gonna lie, I hate Webby. I hate her in the show, I hate her in this game, I just hate her in general. Oh, oh, oh. God damn it! Sorry. I hate losing lives on extreme because I've got a finite amount of them, and if I lose too many lives... <sighs> See, that was just, that was complete bullshit as well. That wasn't even fair, like, I got hit once in this entire level, one time, and it caused me to die. Frickin' hell. Here's the boss. So the boss is a yeti, she's not too hard. Uh, basically her attacks are trying to squish at us while she jumps. When she reaches the other side she'll punch the wall, which will have ice blocks falling upon us. Depending on where this block falls, we then wait. And then pop her on the head. If you go to the other side of her, it makes it a bit easier because she'll jump in the direction that she was already jumping in so you don't have to try and dodge underneath her. Another good little tip. Ah, oh, my battery's getting low. That's good. Well, oh, I'll have to try and finish this boss fight with low battery. <laughs> um, when she jumps up and she shakes in the air, that means she's doing a power stop. So if you're standing on the ground when she does that, then you'll get hurt. Otherwise, this boss is very, very easy. Which is the other main reason why I decided to do it. Um, I guess it's it. See? She's pretty boring, actually, as a boss. As long as you're paying even a little bit of attention, she won't hurt you. Which is another reason why I got upset when I lost a life, because this is a... Himalayas is a pretty easy level to get through. Which is why I do it first to get that heart upgrade and it's an easier level. Uh, for each life I lose, it makes it that much harder later on. Alright. This should be, I think this is the last hit. And then we get another cutscene. Stupid Webby. Webby! Be nice, Uncle Scrooge. That poor fuzzy lady didn't mean any harm, did you, ma'am? <laughs> ma'am? Don't be daft, lass. This monster tried to pummel me. Why, I nearly cashed my last check. <laughs> oh, I know, ma'am. But Uncle Scrooge is really nice once you get to know him. <laughs> Webby, you understand this creature? Of course, Uncle Scrooge. It's all in a Junior Woodchuck guidebook. <laughs> What's she saying now? She says she's sorry if she hurt you. She's just upset because she stepped on a thorn and can't get it out. A thorn? <gasps> you don't suppose... <laughs> Here's your thorn, Webigail. <laughs> the lost crown of Genghis Khan. The pretty crown. <laughs> you found it. Hey, the poor creature was standing on it. Webby, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. 
Without your help, we never would have found the treasure. Oh, uh, and thanks to you too, ma'am. <laughs> I think she likes you, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah, that's odd. Usually it's me the ladies go gaga for. Hey, uh, well, let's get home before she grows any fonder of me. And that's it. That is the end. So we just got the lost crown of Genghis Khan, which is pretty cool. Um, I didn't know that Genghis Khan had a lost crown that looked like that, and he had it in the Himalaya mountains with, you know, with a yeti. But whatever. I wonder if Genghis Khan in the DuckTales universe was the same as Genghis Khan in our universe. <laughs> Um, so as you can see, as we finish each level, we get a tally of all the treasure that we found, um, including like a bonus million dollars for finishing the level, and we get a difficulty modifier, which is pretty cool, so it all like tallies up. The lost crown of Genghis Khan is mine, lads. <laughs> all it took was a bit of tenacity and perseverance. And a little kindness and patience. Right, Uncle Scrooge? Right you are, Webby darling. Now, where's Bubba run off to? Yeah, where is he? He was here a minute ago. Why does no answer Baba? He's over there having a tea party with Webby's toys. No, Baba Smash! Uh-oh, Webby. Sounds like Bubba's not getting along so good with your Quacky Patch dolls. <gasps> you keep away from my dolls, mister! Uh, remember, kindness and patience, Webbygill. Set a good example for the lad. Well then. What treasure shall we look for next? All right, that is the end of the Himalayas. So next time on uh, Dark Towers, woohoo, we'll be going into a different level to get another treasure on our list. Uh, but for this one, that's it. So I'm just gonna say again that I hate Webby. Um, I think that she's super annoying in the show and in this game. Um, she was only added to get a female demographic into the show because there's not very many female characters with Scrooge and the three boys being the main characters. Um, so they added Webbergale just to give her like a girl persona so then, you know, little girls can watch the show as well. Which is just a marketing thing and it's, then like I said, if she was well written, it would have been okay. But most of the things that she does is so annoying. <sighs> Anyways, next time on DuckTale, we'll be going through and finding a new treasure. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!